Hello, I'm Sue Turton. I'm Operations Director for Health Exchange uh, CIC. Um, we're talking from our uh, head offices in the uh, Avoca Court in Birmingham. We're a social enterprise and we were launched in 2007 and we um, believe that everyone to have the capacity to exercise uh, a choice for um, positive health and well-being and that's the services that we run. We run web-based services, um, supported services, motivational services and self-managed services um, to predominantly uh, people across Birmingham but we have got services in, in other areas. The underlying uh, principle of, of the services is to support positive health and well-being. To give you an example through our self-managed services, one of the case studies that I've sent uh, uh, over, which should be in your pack, is regarding uh, um, Anthony. He's, uh, he, he suffers with chronic uh, asthma. And he came onto one of our programmes, which we have been running for four years now, and we have developed that programme over the four years and uh, it's been evaluated by Birmingham University. The underlying uh, uh, practice of the programme is to support, support positive health and well-being. And that's about uh, Anthony becoming Anthony again and not Anthony the asthmatic. So it's... It's, it's really, you know, sort of that positive health and well-being principle. The outcome of, of Anti after the four weeks, basically, what he, he said something very, very, very striking. He said, I'm responsible for my condition, not my GP, not my nurse, or not my consultant. And that was very powerful. What he'd actually gained from it, he was able to lose weight, he was able to look at himself, he, he felt that he, he needed to eat more healthily, he needed to increase his physical activity, he needed to look at himself and he needed to have more confidence and that started to give him more confidence so he was able to move forward in his life by making these small steps for his better health tomorrow. He's now giving you an example, he's got the confidence, he's, he's doing academic studies, he's performing on, on the stage, he's really enjoying life. And, and that has come from sort of just basically being able to provide that support around positive health and well-being. Initially his GP referred him and he was extremely nervous about coming onto the programme. We have been able to provide this programme, if you think about it, under the saving time uh, saving money. £135 it cost for us to provide that course for Anthony. That was based on 1,800 people going through. And if you think that it's 70%, the 70 pence in the pound for every NHS uh, pound spent for somebody with a long term condition, attending outpatients, GP consultations, and hospital admissions. And we know that this has uh, reduced the um, uh, consultation time with Anthony and his hospital admissions with his asthma. Also another example is the Support Plus programme we run, and this is basically uh, around the wider determinants of health, that people are going to GPs with non-medical needs, and these are things around housing, um, uh, benefits, and it usually takes about five consultations to be able to uh, acknowledge that this is the underlying problem. And, and, we, and if you think about the cost and time uh, of that, we actually provided a service where we were able to reduce the cost of, of around about £70 per person. But not only £70 per person, but it was the reducing time. So we were able to have a face-to-face -face with a person and see what the underlying problem was with our community partners and our organisations out there being able to solve the problem um, and reduce the need for that person to go back to um, the um, GP. And yet again, we've had this evaluated. It does show reduction in GP time. So it's saving time. It's also saving money. If you think if a practice nurse or somebody within the practice has got to try and solve that problem. And also the other side of that, if somebody's been treated de for depression, obviously the medication that goes along with that. So again, sort of the cost savings and time is enormous from uh, uh, working with a third sector organisation like Health Exchange that you would be able to enhance the quality 
to your patients as well. With supporting um, uh, GPs regarding community engagement, yet again, uh, Health Exchange, for example, 100 organisations out there that we link into, the intelligence that's brought back, the profiling, the communication, what actually uh, patients think, what clients using the service think, the commissioning sort of side, what uh, GPs should be buying, what services, where people want services. All of that information is there through community engagement. So the actual links with community partners through third sector organisations for GP is enormous. You know, both from patient, both from engagement and both from communication. Thank you.